in this video we'll talk about a uh, couple of more important things related to genetics like linkage we'll talk about linkage groups and then gene mapping so let us first discuss about linkage as the name tells us linkage that means we are talking about few things which are linked and here we are talking about the genes which are linked now let us first understand what exactly we mean by this suppose on a chromosome the genes are located at certain places which we call the loci say there is a gene a here and a gene b here and they are located on the same chromosome the chances of these genes getting separated are more because whenever crossing over takes place suppose there is a crossing over here then these genes will get separated so closer the genes the chances of them getting separated are less say second situation is gene a is here and gene b is here then the chances of them getting separated are only when crossing over takes place in here if crossing over takes place in the other limb then they will not get separated third situation gene a is located here and gene b is located here the chances of them getting separated are even less because unless and until crossing over takes place between these two points which are very close they will not get separated and fourth situation is gene a is here and gene b is here so the chances of them getting separated are very very less or zero so depending upon the location we can say the chances of them getting separated or them showing recombination are more or less these two genes will show more recombination that means suppose if we plot this like suppose this is gene c and this is gene d what are the chances of recombination of a and c is every time crossing over takes place these two will come together so recombination frequency is more if the genes are located at extremes if the genes are located very closely then the chances of recombination are less so depending upon this the linkages are divided into two categories one is called complete linkage and other one is incomplete complete linkage means the separation of these linked genes is just not possible so here the linked genes do not get separated do not get separated and this is because that they are very very close to each other this was reported by morgan in drosophila in drosophila that is fruit fly drosophila melanogaster that is our fruit fly body color and wing wing shape is linky gray colored body gray body and normal wings gray body and normal wings they are linked genes and black body with vestigial wings with vestigial wings are linked characters normally when we start with a typical cross suppose we start with this type of cross saying gray body and say normal wings so gray body and normal wings because these are we are talking of a dihybrid cross say we take these as homozygous for both is crossed with small g that is for black and small w is for vestigial in f1 we always expect the dominant ratio these characters they get segregated in f2 but here if the genes are completely linked in f2 also instead of 4 instead of 4 that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio we will get 8 is to 8 ratio that means 
eight are going to be like this and eight are going to be like this or we want to tell that these two genes will not get separated the reason is they are completely linked their separation is not possible incomplete is when the genes can get separated and this is because that the distance between these genes is more and there can be crossing over between these two one more example of uh, complete linkage is in rice in rice the grain color tells us so uh, this is one example the second example is rice color and the grain uh, number of productivity these are also linked one more example of this that we see in cotton in cotton the color of corolla color of corolla of the flower indicates so this is used as, as, as an indication of the lint index that means how much fiber will that cotton produce so if the flowers are of that particular color we can expect to have a good type of crop because if color is uh, linked with the lint index we know that the lint is going to be good and we will be able to get good crop out of it so these genes are used as markers so significance significance of linked genes of linked genes is they are used as markers here we are using them as markers so if we get a particular color of the rice grain we know the productivity is going to be high and this is what these farmers do when they are try, trying to estimate the crop production from their field this is one character which they observe so color is one type so they know productivity is going to be good here it is for our research purposes in case of drosophila in case of cotton also we the farmers use it for their productivity estimation so this is these are the two types of linkages now let us talk about the linkage groups as we are talking of the types of linkages let us talk of what exactly we mean by linkage groups linkage groups are we are talking of linkage group linkage group is exactly same as number of chromosomes in one set of that chromosomes so in one set let us take our example normal human beings have diploid cells all normal cells are diploid so we have two n that means two sets so whatever number of chromosome is in one set which is represented by n our n number is 23 so in humans the linkage groups chromosome number one set is 23 so linkage groups are also 23 let us take one more example drosophila in drosophila we made four pairs of chromosome so 2n was four pairs so n is equal to 4 so linkage groups would be 4 linkage groups would be 4 so whatever number of chromosomes we have in one set that becomes the linkage group now let us talk about mapping how do we know which gene is located where on a particular chromosome which we talk about as mapping of genes so let us discuss mapping of genes now uh, let us talk about gene mapping now we are trying to see how the genes are located on the chromosomes we know that the genes are arranged in a linear manner on the chromosomes 
and we are just trying to see how we map them so that we understand how these genes are located on these chromosomes. Suppose we say on this chromosome gene A is located at one locus, its allele and the other gene's allele is located at some other locus of the same chromosome. What are the chances that these two genes can get separated? The chances are maximum because whenever crossing over, suppose this is the homolog and if crossing over takes place from here, then also these two genes will get separated and if crossing over takes place from the upper arm, then also they would get separated. That means the chances of these genes getting separated are more or here in this case it appears to be maximum. If the genes are located very close to each other, maybe something like this, then the chances of these chromosomes or these genes, say this is A and this is B, the chances of these two getting separated are less as compared to situation 1. How is that less? If crossing over takes place here, that is in the lower arm in this case, then the chances of these two genes getting separated are absolutely nil. But if crossing over takes place here, then they would get separated. So here we can conclude or interpret that if the genes are farther or away from each other, the chances of them getting separated are more and the chances of recombination are also more. Now, if we are trying to place the genes on this chromosome, we can use two different terms. We can go by recombination frequency and this is one. Second, we can also talk in terms of map units. If we say that two genes A and B are 10 map units apart, then this information tells us that on this chromosome, which is a linear, so we can represent it by a simple line, and we say this is gene A and this is gene B and the distance between these two genes is 10 map units. So map unit gives us exactly how, uh, what is the distance between these two genes. This can also be represented by, we said recombination frequency. So if the same thing has to be talked in terms of recombination frequency, we would say that the recombination frequency is 10%. That means if from one point to other point, if this is 100 from these two extremes, the chances of these two genes getting separated is only 10%. That means they are closer to each other. So here also it is 10% and here it is 10 map units apart. So whether we talk in terms of frequency, then also it gives us a distance between the two and map units straight away gives us the distance. We will take one simple example to understand this. Say the example that we are talking of is gene A and B are 20 units apart. Gene A and C are 10 units apart. What is the location of gene A, B and C on the chromosomes? If we have to understand this, then we can say that gene A is here and it is 20 map units apart from gene B from this first information. Now second information will give us two options. It is saying A and C are 10 units apart. So A is here, in middle somewhere should be C, but they have not given us any clue between B and C. So C can be on this side of A also and C can be on this side, that means between A and B also. So we have two possible combinations of these arrangements. It can be C a, B, if we take this, this and this arrangement or the second combination is if we go with 
the second possibility that is A, C and B. So by knowing the map units that is the distance between the genes or the recombination frequency we can place the genes on the chromosome and that is known as the gene map.